Welcome back, Red Talks. You already know what it is. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't, make sure you go over to the YouTube and subscribe. Yeah, all content is going on the YouTube. Straight. Yeah, and if you don't know, I'm joined by the craziest, wildest co host in the world. Craziest. Why I see in the building, people. And you know what? For, for, for all our lawyer watchers, we're in a new spot still. Mm. New spot. Moving different, moving up, moving left, moving right, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So people, people need to get know, to know, Get to know, get to know. Red Hub is, is evolving. <laughs> yeah, I mean? Yeah, Upgrading. You, did, you didn't know, well, now you know. Our lawyer So one, yeah, right? um, make Anyone. sure you go over to the YouTube. And also, we just started a Patron. So if you want to get exclusive footage of us, and you want to get exclusive audios, mm -hmm. all the other stuff, then go to Patron and sign up, yeah? All packages, yeah? But I tell everyone, jump on the Red Talks, kill them. That's the package you need to be on. Yep. Monthly subscription, support the movement. You know what I'm saying? Trust so, me. So, yeah. So, 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 this week, Is this that, week, that, that. this week. You know what I wanted to discuss this week? Well, run it, bro. Run it, About boy. the girl that invite man to their house. That's real as well. Have sex with man. Mm -hmm. And have him starving. How's and that? surviving of Harry Balls and Sprite. What has happened? <laughs> I saw that video and I was like, no, 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 no. This no, but man, where man, I go through that. It must happen to you. It must happen to you. Oh, bro, it's numerous times. But how, why? But why do you think? How? Like what? What? How? Because she can't cook. No, but what? She didn't even order man nothing. No, but this is the thing. Like, what? She's gonna order me Uber Eats, but she's gonna look at me like you're the man. Can you order it? Like girls be doing that, you know. I'm not gonna. So lie. I'm looking at her. She's looking at me. It's a weird situation. No, that's real. But no, no, hold on. But you're the no fuck that. I'm the guest. You're the guest. So, any, so anyone who comes to your house or you go to their house, boy, swear the guest can't be expected to be move like the host. No, but I, there's can't. a lot of girl, you know a lot of girls are in debt though. Okay. So you're going to a house. You're going to a poor person's house because, bro, if I come to your yard and you can't even offer me juice, yeah. Damn. And and I ask for water and you bring me tap water, you're broke. No, of course, of course, of course. But then you know what. I don't mind if a woman says to me, look, can you pick up water on the way here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I haven't care. got none. I don't care about that. But then I can't live off water. Mm -hmm. If I'm at your house for two days and you don't cook, what? Get me a breakfast. Oh, bruv, if you're putting in no, a yeah, mad right. shift yeah, and your yeah, back yeah. is breaking. Trust me. Bro, first of all, you need water to stay hydrated. Mm -hmm. And second of all, you need to refuel energy, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is re refuel energy, bro. Like, you know when the car's running low on petrol? That's true, you got, you got to top up. Man rolls low on petrol, fam. You got man to top needs up. the food. To go in to give man that petrol so man can fam, huh? fam, charge, woo, woo, charge the chain, you know what I'm saying? Charge the cocky, you have to charge the cocky, fam. But that's why niggas ain't putting in work. You know what, yeah, like that that could actually be a fair argument still. Like man them like man them saying, I've got no I've got no like sauce left, fam. Like cocky's drain out cuz I've got no sauce left. Like how can they get us to put in a session and, and like and like give her deep pumps a, a man's out here dehydrated and lacking and lacking nutrition? Now I can't, I can't run cuz But you know what's bad though, yeah? I do think that me a bit, me like me personally. I might not cook it, but I would even if there and then I was like, oh shit, I ain't got nothing. I'll run shop. Like, I'd always make sure Saturn's there in it. Yeah, but, but mm. I think, but some girls really be. I don't, I don't, I don't remember her name. I remember, I remember one girl. Yeah, I, see, I was annoyed from like, you know what I get there. What happened to me? Because this bitch knew I was coming around in advance. So imagine it's a Wednesday. Yes, and I come see you Saturday. So, 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 like she, so like she's got four days to get man nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. No, and, and not like a Sunday roast. Now. Just, just basic bare minimum food, a sandwich, mm -hmm. a ham and cheese sandwich would have went far still. But when I went there, I remember, I remember being, I remember being pissed. Like my must have tapped it, and then I was like, "Raw, like, have you got juice?" And then she must have been like, "No, I ain't been shopping." And for me, at that moment, fam, the whole mood just went dark, fam, because I was like, "I said I'm coming on Wednesday, and today's Saturday, and you're moving like." You had no idea I was coming. You like you've had too long to prepare, kind of thing. No, but that's what I'm just saying. But she might be in debt though, so now man has to be like mindful. Yeah, no, any, that yeah, a lot of girls' was... situations is that they're in debt. No, but though. fuck that. Because if man's coming to give you the dig, fam, yeah, and I can't even like get some like minerals and and fucking electrolytes back in my system, yeah, then that, that that's a bit because I think you're not even thinking you're going above and beyond. It should be so that fam. If man beats the thing afterwards, yeah, I think the bare minimum should be a ham and cheese sandwich and an orange juice, fam. Now, but you, you're, standard. You, now, no, but you're saying that for the women that have got morals, like some of these girls, they don't even have that for themselves. How they go give you something they don't have? Well, then, well, broke girls shouldn't get dick if that's the case. And more, more, more importantly, <laughs> yeah, and more importantly, 
If they got, if they got a you, <laughs> I should be going right, fam. If your father, if your father's like situ- 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 situation hasn't got niggas a ham and cheese sandwich and the orange juice yet, then one, one, I'm never going, I'm never going again because that's that's like a red flag to me. Yeah, but your cheese toasty, bro. Hmm? Like I'm, you, you t- bro. I'm just saying, a cheese toasty will help a man out. Yeah, of course. Or an apple, or a sa- like, bro. A give me some fruit. Give me so a fruit. Energy. Yeah, give me something that that can give me something, bro. Like if a girl can't even, you know what the worst I'm is? Right there. If a girl doesn't have even like mint tea or something like, you know, herbal what I'm tea. Herbal tea, bro. If you go to a girl's house, she ain't got herbal tea, bro. She's a mess, bro. She needs to sort out her life. She needs to stop thinking about Willie and start thinking about. No, she, have you know what? Yeah, get your, get your bag right. You know, no, you know what? Not even get your bag right. If someone's coming over, at least have basic things in place for them to have. Like, fam, like I've been my girl's house and they don't have fucking toilet roll cause like this dumb thing. I'm like, how does this? And I know it's a quick. That kick. is mad, you know. You see, when a girl don't have toilet roll, yeah, <laughs> I really doubt her. Her parenting skills. Everything. Her life skills. Everything. Bro, I can't live without toilet roll. Mm-hmm. But if I was, I'd just be washing my ass. That's what so I'm saying. If, if she's on that vibe, then she's on that vibe. But let me... Bro, look, I feel like women need to be more um, open with their situations, bro. Financially like, as well. Like, look, can you help me out? I ain't got no dough. Can you bring some... I don't some, mind. Yeah, yeah. No, I see me as a real yeah, G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm going around to smoke out her insides yeah. and she tells me this and I've got some dough on me, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. going to shop and picking up a few of things course, and coming course, to our yard. Of course. But don't let me come around. We're having the best time of the life. But mm-hmm. there's nothing, bro. Yeah, sure. And the thing is, yeah, I'm so particular that I like my exact things to be in the yard. So I've yeah. like, I like sweets. I like my, my oh, chocolates. Okay, yeah, okay, I like my fizzy yeah, yeah. drink. Okay, yeah, yeah. If a woman doesn't understand me, she gonna lose me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because those little That's things real. and then paying attention to them little things That's are real. big things in my heart. That's real. Does it make sense? That's real. I love my little things. It's not the big things to me. Like I'm good with a lemon tea and, 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 um, or Maryland cookies, bro. Oh, yeah. I'm Maryland oh, yeah. cookies and a, and a hot Simple. tea. I'm, bro, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm lit. Yeah, 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 I feel you. But if you can't even get me that, bro, what the hell am I doing in your yard? I see, and you, and you know it's funny you say it, because even more so, like, obviously everyone's got knees, yeah? Fuck that, bruv. Girls out here, girls out here, like, who got two youths, yeah? And on benefits, yeah? Who want dick. Obviously, man don't know they're on benefits and got whatever. Fam, you go around there, fam. So, do, you know, do you know how much of a low-level guy I went... I felt like when I went around that girl's house and she gave me tap water. And not only did she give me tap water, fam, the cup had like all fingerprints and I just thought, you know, you don't rate me, fam. Like the cup weren't the cup weren't even clean to put the tap water in, cuz. I just thought to myself, like, no food in the yard, didn't offer man nothing. And and, and the worst thing is, yeah, this girl had the audacity to tell her, yeah, oh, if you're hungry, you can just order something. I'm like, I know I can order something, but why should I have to order something? Why am I spending my big money after after traveling down? To, like, to, like, to feed myself, and then she had, she had the extra nerve to, to, to say to me, I can order something, and then when I, when I order it, she goes, oh, what, are you, are you not gonna get me anything? I swear down, cuz I wanted to just, 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 just hulk on the yard. I wanted to just go mad, but I thought, you know what, it's cool. Man's gonna just, like, so I must have ordered a burger for me and her, and I thought, yeah, eat that burger, you trap. Never good, never, <laughs> 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 never went right there again. <laughs> Never went right there again, cuz. Man said, eat that veggie, trap. I think, wait, what? I, so, hold on. I traveled to your yard. You had no pee. You told me if I want food, I can order it. Then when I ordered it, you was like, oh, can I get a sign? I just thought, like, I just, nah, cuz. No, nah, nah, but like nah. I'm saying, her financial situation could have been so bad that now this is her only meal of the day. So, you know what? Like, shout out to the women, yeah? That, no, like, man. You have no money no, in your man. bank account. No, what you're taking. No, shout out to no bitches, cuz. <laughs> Fuck them. I ain't shout out none of these. <laughs> I shout out to the girls that have no money. No, nah, man. Yeah? And, nah, man. and they're just taking dick because I don't. I, Fuck them, bro. I don't know. I don't know how that makes any sense, bro. Don't invite a man round to your house if you do not have juice. Like, focus on how to get and juice. Nah, them, 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 like, benefit line Chantel's, cuz, nah, they need to hold something, fam. Yeah, them girls are definitely doing on TikTok that, begging for coins, bro. And, and, and the thing is, I'm like, yo, like, get, like, get, get the basics right, yeah? But that's mad to me, because that, like, that will have man moving mad. And some girls are moving extra scatty, because some girls might have, a, might have a ute, and then he's asleep, and then the man, the man just, been, like, the man just finished beating it now. Like, dicks are swinging in the yard, he's walking there butt naked, and the, a man, a man going into the fridge. And he's like, ah, oh, ah, oh, ain't nothing in here. And all he sees is, is the fucking kids' lunch for the next day. And I, and I'm banging the lunch, blood. Scumbag mold. I'm drinking the fruit shoot. And I'm, what's the, what's the little thing that, um, 
I don't even know the, the Dunkers thing, fam. I'm taking yeah, his Dunkers. Che- cheese, whatever Dunkers. I'm taking yeah. his cheese Dunkers, bro. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, whatever your name is, bro. Jerome, I don't know, bro. I don't know what you're saying. No, but the woman my no, but the woman will say, oh, it's fine, yes, yeah, a kid's lunch. And my man's <laughs> jamming it saying, wait, fam. Out for no way. Uh, listen, man, like man, fully had the, the like fish figure chips and ketchup, and I thought, yeah, like I'm gonna back that fam, yeah. So like, so like, when that kid wakes up next day, be like, oh, mummy, where's my food? Be like, yeah, I ain't, nigga. I don't give a fuck. Your mum was too stingy, yeah, to offer man nothing, yeah. So like, don't come talking about where's my food, did it? Yeah, that's it. And the worst thing is, these girls expect man to put in a session like just. Just slapping it for a good half an hour. Man sweating buckets, fam, yeah. And I can't even replay on food and water. That don't make sense, fam. And like, at least have bottle water. I'm not anti tap water, but I would at least expect bottle water, fam. No, no, I'm anti tap water. If I come to your yard and you only got tap water, don't invite me to your yard. No, I no, say this right. again. If you only got tap water, then don't invite me to your yard. I've never drunk tap water. I don't like tap water. Tap water reminds me of guys that are in jail suffering right, right, in right, themselves. Right, 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 right. Some suffering guys, bro. They oh how mouth on the tap, bro. I'm not in them places, bro. Mm-hmm, I'm on mm-hmm. roads. I want to feel like a king. Get me the water that I even like as well, because I mm-hmm. only eat, I only like drinking Pacific type of water. I think waters have different tastes. They, they do so then pay attention to detail. Mm-hmm. Men's not asking a lot. What's that? One pound thirty for it for for a big bottle. From Buxton is is like. Like 70p in Tesco or whatever. Come on, man. If you ain't yeah. got that in your bank account, then I, I can't help you. But if you ain't got it, then tell me so that I can bring it for myself. Because mm. I need it if I'm coming to your house. Mm. The hell? That's crazy, bro. That's wild, bro. No, I, didn't and that's, like that. I, I don't know. Maybe some girls think that's a normal behavior. Nope. And that's that's normal behavior. But you know what? I've never actually been with a woman that is that bad. But I've been with a woman that can't cook, but she was an amazing woman. Yeah, yeah, true, 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 true. Like, true she true. was an amazing true, 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 individual. True, true, true. I'm yeah, not going to sit her and cuss her. Like, she was an amazing individual. I like, great yeah, personality, yeah, yeah, yeah. everything. Yeah. She just wasn't a chef. Mm-hmm. But she, everything Afraid else, bro, everything else was on point, bro. Like, I'm talking about on point. Like, I, I could know. trust her. You know when you could trust a woman? That's big. Like, when she goes out, you'd know she's not going to give not... Because mm-hmm. she wasn't easy for you. Mm-hmm. So, she, you know, like, yeah, 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 easy yeah, come, yeah. easy way like, yeah, 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 You know some girls just don't have it. So, when you do get it, you're like, right, I kind of, like, appreciate it. Like, she was not accepting anything. Like, I tried all my little, you know, smooth Manoeuvres games, and, and she was not okay. having it, bro. Mil- militant, you know? Yeah, so I know if another guy comes... If another guy came and he was able to beat it easy, then... She must have been a lying hole. Or yeah, she's yeah, just yeah, generally yeah. a good girl. Because there right, is good right, girls right. out there. Yeah, there, there is, is good girls. You know what I'm saying? A few. You know what I'm saying? But, but it's still... Uh, as you said, you know, like, yeah, we, okay, we don't know their situation. But like, for, but, like, for me, that even goes to, like... But do you think, like, women are too prideful to tell a man she's broke or, like, to, to, to say, like, can I have £100 until next week? Like, women are too prideful for that. Of course, wouldn't you be? No, I'm saying, but if you're going to be invited a man to your yard, he's going to have to... Or you, or you plan to see him? Because... I don't know, bro, like... If you've got a girlfriend, or you're seeing a girl, and she's, like, coming to your house, then, yeah, you might think, are we going to order out, or am I going to buy something same? But just naturally, because she's coming, I'm thinking in that space. But I just think... If you're, yeah, if your financial situation is not good, yeah... Like, what do you think the guy's gonna come around? Especially, especially if you're spending the night. I'm not gonna lie to you, fam. I'm, I'm, I'm like big on morning breakfast, innit? For mm. me, if I spend the night at a girl's house and then the man put it working, I want like a, I want like, I want like a full English. Yeah, but you, no, only, I'm you're, serious. Yeah, but I'm saying a girl can only do that if she has the means to do that because food and everything's gone up now. Let's keep it real. Even, so. you know, even before, bro. Like, no excuse. Like way before inflation and price, and price rises. Yeah, I'm saying women. Will, they want to think. There's some broke girls out there. There's some broke girls. Well, then they need to they need to sort of uh, vocalize that because I I I don't believe it's accessible. And I'm I'm telling you, if it was the other way around, if a girl came to your house and it, and then like she mashed you and came all dressed up and, and was on fleek, and she goes, oh, raw, right, like you didn't even got apple juice or a packet of crisps. That's a problem because no, I think, I think that's a problem because yeah, facts, facts. You're not gonna facts. But the thing is, if if I know a girl's coming to my house, I'd always make sure that I've got the right stuff in the yard, like naturally as a man. Like, you can't come to my yard and say you never ate, bro. Like, yeah, it's impossible. Yeah, 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 like, I'm offering you juice, I'm offering you drink, yeah, I'm offering... Yeah. You know, you just... If you know someone's coming to your house, you're naturally going to buy pineapple juice or, you know what I'm saying, whatever that person likes, orange juice. Mm-hmm. Or oh, do you want orange juice? Yeah, yeah. Or oh, do you want this juice? Oh, I've got some crisps. Oh, I've got some um, sweets. Yeah. Like, whether they take it or not, it's up to them. But right, right, I right. have it there mm-hmm. on, st- on standby mm-hmm. so that you can see if you want them. Does mm-hmm. that make sense? Mm-hmm. So I, I feel like, for me personally... There should be no excuse why a woman's not feeding a man that she's having sex with no way. in her house. In her, 
her house. Because it shows me the lack of self-attention that you pay attention to yourself, though. Mm -hmm. So then if you don't take care of yourself, how can we even, after this, even think of even getting into a relationship and you're not thinking about taking care of me as a man? Because they say, a man that's well-fed, my bad, a man that's well-fed is happy. You know what a hungry man is? An angry man, fam. Have you ever been in a mood swing and it's just because you're hungry, fam? As soon Mm -hmm. as you got the food, your whole mood's changed. Nice. Bro, I'm not dealing with a woman and I have to... I have to think, when I come around, I have to Uber Eats blood. Yeah. Or just eat mm-hmm. from her house. Mm-hmm. Like, why haven't... And you know the funny thing is... That's a myth. Some people like me, I, I go into a lot of takeaway take shops, yeah, because of the jobs that I do, yeah? Mm. And sometimes I be going in there, I see the people cooking the food. I be like, I don't want takeaway. Right, 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 right. Hygiene. Like, cook, yeah, yeah, cook me food, cook me food. I don't want takeaway. And people think, why not, why not? I just don't want takeaway. Like, the people in them kitchen sometimes, Trust me. when you see who's cooking the your hygiene, food, yeah. you'll be like, that crackhead-looking Don touched my food. I don't mm. want that food. Don't look like a, a nitty fam. Mm-hmm. So why can't I have a woman? And the thing is, if you come from a household where your mother was a queen and she's always cooking food and soul yeah. food as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That food has love in it. Mm-hmm. I don't care if you're the best chef, you know. Mm. Just cook the food that, for me personally, shows me that you care. Or just any type of decent. Like I said, I don't, I don't want to have to go. And for me, like I said, I might not be a cook. And I, do you know what? Even if I've got no food in my yard, the moment a girl come around, I'll, I'll say, what do you want? And I'll go and get it. So like a five minute walk down the road, go Tesco and bring it back. So, I'm, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't just not do it like at all. See, like, but and, 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 and that's what I'm saying. I would not make a girl come to my house. It, like, imagine letting a girl come to your house and telling her, "Oh, like, you can go to Tesco. That's a violation. You can go to Tesco. I'm at your house. I came out of my way to see you." And, and, the, and the littlest <laughs> thing you couldn't do was just go to the shop. Yeah, <laughs> that's something that you you probably see on the way anyway. Right. That's what, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's why I, I'm not accepting that. Personally, I'm not... Like, them talks can't even run around me, still. I'm vocal as well, because I said if I'm... Like, uh, so like, because if I'm seeing a girl and I'm, and I'm going to, to her, oh, she's coming mine, I might ever say to her, like, can you pick up something? Just like, just because I know she's on her way. But mm. I said, if, if, if a woman's pr- pride and ego is not letting her tell her, man, listen, I'm broke... Or, like, can you break... If you're broke, don't, 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 don't see me. I don't yeah. want no broke bitch around me. yeah, yeah. yeah. Basic, I don't want no broke bitch around me. Based on excessive. Sorry, sorry for the language, but I don't want no broke girl around me. Straight. Mm-hmm. Have a job. Do something with your life. I want girl that have money. Mm. That's why I don't even chat to certain girl online because I just look at them. You can't even send a coin, bruv. Yeah. If, I ask you, if I ask you for one coin right now, you probably don't even got that. You know, like, I'm not begging you, but I'm just saying, right, 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 you right. don't even have that. I right. could send you something, but you couldn't send me this thing mm-hmm. because you don't have a job. You mm-hmm. don't have no income. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So why are we even having a conversation about relationships or trying to get to know each other having sex bro you need to go sort your life out it's true because finance is an important thing in life mm. that's an important thing to me anyway Basic and being money orientated and yeah. being able to control your money and finance your money mm-hmm. and who, who wants a woman that is bad with money to the point where she doesn't even have juice bro <laughs> like you open the fridge there's nothing in the fridge yeah like bro and that's why sometimes i know a lot of men get with fat things that's the reason why a lot of men get with fat things. Man, big things stay with big the yard. Big things pool. will make sure their their cupboard is full up. Stat. Yeah, them Stat. skinny. Sometimes them skinny guys will be doing it, but it's rare. Mm. That's why they're skinny. No, no, big things stay with the food, fam. Like, like as in, we're forget and, and a big like you go around there, and the big thing will say, "What do you want to eat?" and give you options, cause oh, that's the best. Yeah. See when a woman options. says, "See when a woman says to you, what do you want to eat?" <laughs> what, what, I want you to make shepherd's pie. Do you like shepherd's pie, lasagna? Um, um. Uh, omelette, uh, I'm just like stir fry, anything you bro, want. Bro, I start to become excited. Like, you get gas. <laughs> what, yeah. what, 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 what you gonna make? Huh? What? I move like a kid, fam. Because excited. When, when they save it, and you know what? A woman might say, yeah, you know what? Uh, like last night, uh, uh, I made some Guinness punch. You want some? Be like, bring me. You can't believe what she's saying. Last night I made Guinness punch, and, and like on the way home, I got some ice cream. They just say all the right things. You're thinking, I need to move in here. Yeah, hundred. Because this woman is gonna take it, and obviously, you know, they say, "Oh, way for him to wait to a man's heart is through his stomach." Yeah, but anybody who's being fed and feels like cared for and taken care of is gonna feel comfortable in that space. And then, like, hundred percent, it doesn't really matter who you are. Hundred percent, I, I mm. feel comfortable when mm. a woman is taking care of me. Trust me, with food. Trust me. But I feel uncomfortable when yes. a woman's not doing that. Like, if a woman tell, if my woman says to me, "I've cooked this meal, and I'm at home," it gives me more incentive to want to run home. Wherever you are as well. If I was if I if I was out and she go and then she goes, Oh, dinner's in the oven, I'm thinking, like man's at home thinking like I'm gonna kill that food. Fam, if I'm at my yard and a girl doesn't live far from me, she goes, Oh, I just like I just did some Look, modern rice. day modern day women. Yeah. Hey the modern day woman, you can cook for yourself. Yeah, yeah. You see that woman there? 
she's going to be single for long. Yeah, and it's the signs of a low-value woman. Yep. It, the signs of a low-value woman is that she always wants to be right, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, this feminism stuff, like, we're equal, like, yeah, so what if you've been up? Bro, a real woman, even if she goes to work and you both go to work, she's still coming home to cook for you. Mm -hmm. Because she understands taking care of a man is longevity with that man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bro, you want short-term um, relationships, yeah. they don't take care of the man. Then you will think that you're doing something right, like, yeah, I'm winning, I'm up, I didn't cook for him, I'm a rebel. Don't worry. There's another woman that will cook for him. Ha happily. And happily. Yeah, happily, yeah. And yeah. she'll take your man. Quick. And then the girl will be like, well, if she can take him, and he's got... But you're an idiot, so now you're single for the rest of your life. Because every man you meet, if you're not able to take care of him, mm. he's going to want to leave. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be of a woman that I have to think in my head, wait a second, I might starve tonight. And now people will be like, oh, you shouldn't starve. You should be able to cook. I should be able to cook, but I'm in a relationship right, right, with right. a woman that is meant to take care of me. Mm -hmm. I'm so confused. Where is this, 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 this ideology come from? Modern mm -hmm. day women. Modern day. Modern day, basic, low value women. This is where it comes from. Telling, telling them, like, so, so rather than say, I'll do it, they're just deflecting everything and saying, yeah, but you can cook your own, like, so like, yeah, so like women nowadays will say, you can, die, you can cook your own food, you can wash your own clothes. They're like, yeah, I can, but if you're not doing it, none of that, I don't see why I'm... What's the point of me why, having you? Why, 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 what, 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 what's your purpose and what are you why good are you for? Why what are you, are you here for? <laughs> are you here for a good time? Yeah. No problem, let's have a good time. But then don't get mad if I have a good time with Sally and Jally and Belly and Boo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because, bro, you just... The you, only thing you're giving me is what other girls can give me as well. Right, right, you right, see, right, right. a woman wants to be exclusive. She has to do things of exclusivity to that man Trust to me. show the value of why I should be with you I and agree. you alone. I agree. Don't, don't think that... Bro, Women, I, me personally, I can get any woman I want. Mm -hmm. Women isn't easy for me. Mm -hmm. My whole life, I've never had a problem. Mm -hmm. So now, why am I settling for low? Right. No, you have to have some sort of purpose. If you're in my life in general, I've never had, in the last five years, I've never had women that don't have purpose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even, even side things, they have purpose, bro. Everyone, True. everybody's got to have a purpose. True. And I'm not saying have side things. I'm not saying that's correct. Mm -hmm. don't, don't misinterpret me. I'm just saying every single person in your life has to have a purpose. Right. Stop having women around you that don't have no purpose and all they're doing is having a good time rubbing out your dough, fam. That's true. Because then when you're broke and you're down again because everyone has they're good gone. times and everyone's they're, they're gone. bad times, they're gone, bro. Gone. On to the next guy that's going to do the same thing with them. Gone. And that's where... And, and, that, and that's, See, but that's a key point you touched on that women need to realise, yeah? If you're not willing to invest, invest in your man, as in, i.e., if you're not going to wash his clothes or cook for him, yeah? He, like, he, like, my guy going to look at you like just a cum bucket. Man's gonna like dig out and have no attachment to anything, and and your head, a woman be thinking, oh, this like this guy is gonna leave me, or like this guy isn't really showing me anything, because if you're not if you're not willing to do nothing like for your man, what the fuck is he staying for? Like, so it's not about whether I can do it or not. I'm with you, so I don't have to do it. No, but it's, it's, it's the same. It's the same kind of low value argument that women will say is when they say, "It's this." This is on the same similar um, pattern, yeah. When women say this to you, they say, "Oh, you know, um, I'm worth more than just being in the kitchen and doing all okay, this stuff." Okay. No problem. Let's no one's denying that. No, yeah, right, right, But right, what right, we right. are saying mm -hmm, as mm -hmm. men is mm -hmm. that we like A, B, and C. Can you provide that? Right. All right, you want A, B, and C from me, right. but you don't want to provide me with A, B, and C. Mm -hmm. So what is this, a one-sided relationship? Yeah, 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 so yeah. you want me to give you money, take care of you, Protect give you my time, yeah, yeah, yeah. be a protector, <laughs> come around, have the best sex with you, blow your back out, do all these things for you. Okay, it's like, it's like, yeah. okay fine. It's like, all right, okay. cool. Yeah. I asked for food, <laughs> and you told me, why can't you cook? Then Do you know time. how mad you sound? Yeah, 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 it's true. Do you yeah, know how yeah, crazy yeah. you sound? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I give you everything, you give me nothing back in return. The return is mad. And the thing is, the thing that I'm asking you for is a basic necessity that most of our mothers done without even blinking an eye. Mm -hmm. Sisters, aunties, grandmas. Bro, I've never been in a household, I don't know about ju everyone else, but Jamaican, Jamaican people, outfit. bro, I've never gone to a Jamaican household, and even if I don't live there, the family ain't said, well, do you want food? Yeah. <laughs> I've never... And they're holding on to the food. Yep. Or say there's no food in the yard. Never heard that. And they know you're coming around. And then if by any chance, like, there's no, like, there's, like, there's no food, like, bare people are going to get back because they know that, it, they know that, it, like, it's standard. And, and it's funny you say that. The, men, women and, the women and men divide, right? The woman's return interest on what she wants from you is so much higher rate from what you want in return from her. So... You know, the, you know how the list is unbalanced. So women, women want a hundred things, men like men want three. Like 
cook for me, fuck for me, and like don't cheat. Like, <laughs> like, it's just, like, mm. like really basic like requirements. Mm. So, but when a woman steps back and think, wow, this guy literally only wants me to cook for him, like take care of the house mm. and be loyal. But I got so much from him, I shouldn't even like sort of. Uh, the idea when he says to me, do what and she shouldn't even bat his eye. No, he shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't even blink at that. It should be just, bat. yes, baby. Yeah. Y- yes. Yeah. There shouldn't be even a thought of, why am I doing this? He can do it himself. So wait a minute. Mentally support you, listen to your long day, comfort you, give you the best sex, so, like, support you, talk to you through your problems, p- uh, protect you, come around, make sure you're good. Speak to you on the phone for hours. You gotta put so much investment for a woman to give you very, very basic things that we need to survive. Not like, not even like I think some women see as you know what? Some women actually see cooking for a man as like a, as a, as a like it's like a privilege or like it's like it's it's like a bonus thing you're getting. So it's almost like be happy I cook for you. I'm like, we all need to eat to survive. It's not, it's like, so it's like, so if a woman's gonna put cooking as like a bonus, that is mad to me. Now, but for, that's that's where the problem lies that because most men come from places where that's just a normality. <laughs> so if I'm with a woman that's not even doing a brief normality, then I'm gonna look at her as if she's strange. Very strange. And the thing is, a lot of men will still have sex with these women, of course they would. but just not rate them. Right. So now she's like, oh, he had sex. He never called me again. <laughs> Lol. Of course. Man was surviving off Harry Bowles and Sprite blood. Trust me. Two days, Harry Bowles and Sprite. I don't know, I don't man's know. body's all weak, fam. It's, it's when man's shaking. leaving, man's leaving with the with like, I'm so happy I can't wait to buy food. Mm-hmm. She's never calling you after to say, oh, have you eaten, babes? It's She's true. so selfish. Some of these women are so selfish. That's true. And one day I said, I'm going to order food, yeah? The woman's like, this is this what she said to me. She said, oh, what are you going to get for me? Yes, yeah, I told you. That's I'm okay. looking. I'm, this is the so first thing I've done. You know what I did? 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 I looked at her kitchen. I was like, what, what's in there? And she said, oh, that's my kitchen. I said, oh, okay. That's it. I wanted to see if she clocked on. Gal is so slow. Some of these gal are slow, you know? Yep. They're actually very slow. slow they don't, nani they gal. don't even take the hints, bruv. Slow nani gal. Bro, she didn't even take the hints, bro. She <laughs> still thought that it was some good conversation. Bro, I was done with her. I was literally done with her. Yeah, like my whole that, mind yeah, was yeah, thinking, yeah. when I leave this place, you, you, you're getting one phone call a month. Mm. Like, yo, you're on my one, you're on you know this? <laughs> she's on the one phone call a month, if yo. That, because what do, what value do you bring to me? And that's why women, and that's why, especially when 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 like women say things like, see, it's like when they go like, if women gonna say I'm the prize, I am the table, bitch, you don't even cook. What fucking table do you own? Like, so imagine it, yeah. Like, you say like now, women always try to maintain this position of where like we are the prize. If you do not cook, clean, and attend to your man, where the fuck is the prize, bro? What, what, what? A prize means that like. You've won something special. You should feel honoured. If a woman isn't going to do things that is basic necessities to survive, yeah, like cook, because whether you're there or not, a woman gonna have to cook, cook and clean for herself. Like, forget you, just herself. She's got to do it anyway. No, but I'm saying a woman will will generally think that. Look, I heard a woman yeah. say this. Why am I cooking for a man that's not my man? So why are you giving me the pum pum? Yeah. You know how mad you sound, <laughs> yeah. bro. You're giving me something that's way more intimate mm-hmm. than food. Mm-hmm. Bro, I feel like I could give you food and not give you a dick. Uh, right, right, like, right, bro, right, right. like that's less intimate. That's weird. There's no feelings there. That's I could weird. feed someone I don't like. True. You you could cook food right now. See someone on the road, and they say, "Oh, please give me food," and you give it to him. Do you do you care for him? Do you love him? No mm. emotions there. Mm. But a woman will say to you, "I'm not what well, well, I'm not cooking. I'm not giving a man husband treatment, and and I'm not a wife." Yeah. Okay, no problem. So I won't give you um, husband treatment as well. Then I just yeah. give you basic. Uh, same. I will feed your energy the same. Bro, yeah, uh, we'll we'll yeah. match energies, but you're not gonna win. It's not gonna turn out nice for it's you because you're never. gonna have more emotions than I am. A hundred percent. Facts. A hundred percent. You're gonna have more emotions than I am. A hundred. I'm a million percent. Well, a woman. Don't, and this woman is the problem. That. Yeah, women. Women don't think. And you know, but a lot, a lot of women get bad influences or like or, or like they're like dumb girls in their ear. You know, like you know, like we know like women who are actually trying to find a man. But they still listen to like single women. <laughs> yeah, that's like never. All the bitter friends. <laughs> you got the single. You got the, the single friends which are bad. But then mm-hmm. even worse than the single friend is you have something called the bitter friend. Yep. The bitter friend is the one that every time she tells her something good's going on in her relationship, she has to have a counter argument to make something look pessimistic. Mm-hmm. And I told you these women are the most dangerous of women and individuals. Right. Yeah, I found a nice guy from London. Yeah, he's probably got a girl woman already. Yep. 
Mm-hmm. How many baby mothers have you got? Like, right, right it's them all, off. everything's like a negative. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, they can't just be happy for her yeah, 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 that yeah, she's yeah. enjoying the moment. Mm-hmm. Because life's short. Don't you want your friend to enjoy the moment and be happy? It's true. Even if it's for five minutes, when you want to see your friend smile. It's true. So why are they, they're like, no, we're being realistic. Okay, your realism is based on your experiences, mm-hmm. not on reality. Mm-hmm. And that's why it's most, the majority of the time is subjective to that individual, how they generally feel. Mm. Because somebody's only giving you advice on how they actually feel, not on reality of situations. Because the reality of situation is, see how it goes. Yeah. That's good advice. It's true. No yeah. negativity. See how it goes. Open, Enjoy yourself. Open. Yeah, Have fun. Yeah. Are we taking you out? That's good, man. That's a nice place. I'd love to go there as well. I heard it's really nice. Yeah but, yeah, but bro, yeah, yeah, but women are naturally haters, you know. Like women are naturally haters, especially on other women. Of course they are. Natural haters. Of course they are. So that and you, that you, you know, have you ever know? Have you been out of a woman and she's like, "Who's that girl?" Think she is, of course. And she don't know her, of course. And she's like, "Oh, she thinks she's nice. She, she thinks she's nice in that dress, her hair and makeup, everything." Yeah. And all she'll say, "Oh, her makeup's not the right color." Forget and you, bro, me as a man, do you do, do you <laughs> give a do you give a flying monkey's dog? Couldn't give a fuck about it, bro. I, I would still hit the thing with a mashup makeup. Hundred, hundred percent. So when she's saying that to me, she's actually highlighting gal to me. I'm not even looking at certain gal and she's highlighting, oh, look at her, look at her. I'm like, yeah, yeah, look at her. Yeah, but like, but like women should know that if they have a good man and they start to speak too much about him with their friends, her friends are low-key going to start getting sort of envious and jealous because they're like, oh, like, why is she always talking about her man and putting him in a brat? Like, then they might try and find either holes in you or they might try and bring her down and be like, She's always talking about her man. You're thinking, but why wouldn't she? She's happy, right? But it's like, people don't like to see happiness. Even if a girl's got a man, she'll be like, but why is she always talking about her man? Bro, I, honest to God, yeah, a happy life is a private life, you know? I'm re- I really started to deep that the last few days. You know? I feel like you should not give anybody access to your relationship None. other than the people that are going to make your relationship thrive. Be- yeah, better. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if Flourish. you're going to an old G and asking him about, look, my girl's doing this, that, and the other, give me some advice, then they might give you the best advice. But just going to anybody, especially the internet, and oh. showing them your whole life, all the good things. Don't do it. Look, you could have taken your missus for a walk down the canal. Mm. And some way or another, someone will try and find something negative to find with that. Wow. Oh, you only can take you to the canal. Yeah, you can't yeah, take yeah. you to Greece or something. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. At least he took you out. And, and, and all the women say that. Like, not men. All the women say these but things. But you go out with your missus in the canal, I'm like, bro, that was, which one? Yeah, exactly. Which, Paddington? Yeah. That's nice, isn't it's it? It's true. I, what, is, it, is it lit down there? Yeah, it's lit. Don't lie. Like, I'm, I'm on some positive shit. Yeah, like, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I might have to take my missus there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, that's good still, that's man. That's a man that yeah. wrote. I'm not saying anything else, bro. Yeah, I don't yeah, need yeah. to say, oh, what? But she's talking other man there. Like, what? The, what? But yeah, we, we, like women are very... Ne- I, I think a lot of women are very negative when they hear things... Because think about it. If, if, if you taking your missus for a walk along the canal made her happy, why would it then be a problem? Because her friend didn't like the idea. That doesn't make any sense. Just like... Do what makes you happy, bro. And like I said, women, even women who have partners, when they when they peek over and look at her friend what, and what she's doing, and you know what, like women are so fucked here. Yeah? If a woman's been single for a while and then meets a great guy, her friends who are still single start to be like, you know, like why, like why does she have to find someone? Or, 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 you know, like why couldn't I find a guy like that? You know, she's no, no, start, no, the, no, no. The worst thing is they start saying shit like this. She's not even that good of a woman because, yeah. like, I remember her last relationship. She yeah. fucking, she yeah. gave him bun and shit. What, yeah. she's gonna, that relationship's not gonna last because yeah. he's probably too nice for her. And how did she get a guy that's a celebrity? Yeah. Yeah. D- like, like, we know this girl to be quiet, always at home, quite boring, doesn't really go out, isn't that active, but and, and, uh, she was laying low for six months. She came out of nowhere and now she's dating this guy who's like a, a, a fucking stylist or he's got her own business. How did she pull him? But she's obviously got qualities that he lacked in her, but a woman will be like, I don't see what they saw in her, because I'm thinking, well, you don't need to, because you ain't a man. But that natural envy is in women. But a man, I would never see a, my boy and think, why did he get her? What, what, I don't, like, a guy generally might think, what, like, how was in, I'm like, my boy don't even go out. I wonder how we met her, kind of, yeah, genuine curiosity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a woman will be like, why did she get, like, why did she get him? Why did, and they think thinking, raw, like, Women can't. Women cannot be happy for other women, bro. I, honestly, like, it's to a point where that's why I realize, yeah, some women just do not 
put their business out there. They're managed low key with it. They don't post don't, pictures. I, I, my my true advice: if you really want a long lasting relationship, don't post your man. No, for real. And not because I'm trying to say hide him, uh, yeah, no, it's not but that. I'm saying people will envy you for nothing. Yeah. People will envy you because you bought your wife trainers and you was meant to buy a trainer six years ago. They don't even know that. They just see they were the nice trainers. Mm -hmm. So we're only going to show. She's only going to put out your best pictures and you're only going to put out her best pictures. Yeah. But in putting out her best sometimes makes other people envious because some women are so bitter. Yeah. Like, oh, that's my man. They're going to yeah. start saying things about him, yeah. about his past or stuff that he's done or this yeah. and that. You know what I'm saying? It's and true. before you know it, the woman starts thinking negative of a good guy that's mm -hmm. actually mm -hmm. treating her right. Nah. And then before you know it, guess, who she, guess what she ends up as? It's true. Single just Single like her friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, but then I think, and then uh, the friends would be like, because some of them they don't want you to leave their friend circle, because like they haven't got another single. person to turn up with. So we're all single, like, for, like for so we can all go yeah. out. Right, right, right. They'd right, be right. like, oh, where's Lu Lucia lately? Oh, she's, oh, she's with her man. Yeah. Oh, she's so fake, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah She yeah. got a man and she stops forgetting about us. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. she's just getting her priority straight. Mm -hmm. Why does it have to be so negative? Mm -hmm. Why can't it be? I'm happy that she's progressing and she's got a soulmate. Like, so maybe I need to find my soulmate, kind of thing. I think, but, but and, and I think definitely. Do you feel like say definitely if if three or four women are together and they're single and they're thirty plus, it's even more of a it's even more of a factor one of them breaking from the group at thirty plus because it's like you know like you get a girl might say oh you know we made a pact or we always do girl things and you know you know like a woman, a woman might be so single so long she starts to hate men thirty plus <laughs> women that have been single, single for a long time <laughs> find it hard to commit. Mm. Because they're stuck in their, their their ways. Stuck in their ways, and what I've noticed, you're right. And and a woman, a woman who's so stuck in her ways, she she'll start sabotaging relationships because she doesn't even know how to be in one. She's been single for so long and been in her own space and her own setup for so long. A man entering that, she doesn't know how to move anymore because she does. She's so just. I come home. I make dinner for myself. Cook for myself. I'm here by myself. But having a man here, how do I actually cater to this man? I don't actually know how to move. No, no, she doesn't. Do, she opens her legs. Yeah, she, so thinks that's, she thinks that's all that gonna is, a man's yeah, going to yeah, want. Yeah, yeah. But as, as older men, as we start to get older and more mature, our understanding of life starts to change. We have mm. different things that are priorities to us now. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. And sex is not at the highest of the list. It's like... It's getting lower these it's, days. It's like probably like third or fourth. Yeah. Like for me personally, sex is not everything to me. I'll be honest with you, bro. Like, I would want to have sex, of but course. I've got so much other stuff yeah, to do. Yeah, 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 I have yeah, yeah. to go and complete them tasks. Mm -hmm. As you're just self-employed, bro. You, you can't be at home having sex all day, no, bro. No, of course not. No, I can't no, be no, like, no. oh, I'm not coming into work, bro. If I don't get out of my house, <laughs> I don't get paid. It's simple. That's but my life. Facts. I don't live this life where I get paid for the hour, bro. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I could be sitting at a job and hiding in the corner or hiding in the toilet. Bro, if I don't get up and get out, mm -hmm. I do not get paid. Mm -hmm. And that's the, for me personally, I love that. Mm -hmm. I love grinding. I love hustling. No, I'm a boss, hustler. No, I'm boss, yeah, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a hustler. Mm -hmm. I love hustling, bro. Mm -hmm. I love jumping on different hustles and doing different things to mm -hmm. make. It's, I get a thrill from it. Mm -hmm. But don't ever get it twisted. Don't ever get it twisted. Mm -hmm. It's rough out here for oh, men. Of course bro. it is. It's rough out here for men. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, but a, a woman, a woman, yeah, what, like, like there was like, who's that guy who said, if a woman's got a vagina, like she should never be broke. I can't remember who said that. He was like, but that's how easy it's. If you got a vagina, he goes, you should never be broke. And he wasn't even talking about selling pussy. He goes, just man will just naturally just give you dough for just being a woman. Yeah, <laughs> like you should, you should never be broke. Like a, a woman can start doing streaming or or have guy be like, oh babe, you know, I'm, I'm kind of short on my rent and not even be short on rent. Brother, there are men out there standing gallum, 20, 30 pounds, ju just being a tick ting. She hasn't, she hasn't done anything. She's just like, like, she's tick or she's bad. Let me slide her 50. Uh, but, but, the word, the, but the part that fucks me, he might not even be financially secure, or my guy might have to work a 60 hour week and he's, and he's just giving away his money. Like, you just think, brother, like, invest that in crypto or something, like, do something. Like, bro, it's like, man, like... Don't trick for gal that's not your gal. Trust I saw, me. Right, so that brings us on to this post that I saw the other day. There was a post out there, and the gal has basically said her first date, the guy bought her £500 Balenciaga sliders. Whether she's lying or not, what is your thoughts on that? The f so wait, so he, wait, he took her shopping on the first date? On the first date, he took her for food and bought her £500 Balenciaga sliders. Yeah, but my guy probably thought... He, see, but a lot of guys think... It's not tricking if you got it, yeah? So if man, if man am up and your bank balance is like 50, like 50K, yeah? Like 50 Gs in your bank, yeah? You might do that as like a boss move and thinking it's nothing, yeah? 
But what they might not realise is that you're giving women who haven't done anything to earn or or even been, like, ain't even fucked you yet. And j- j- what? Do you know what? I'm so happy that you... The, the word that you used was so important. Mm. She hasn't earned the position mm. for me to give her that money. Mm-hmm. Now, this is the problem. We're giving women titles and yeah. giving them privileges mm-hmm. of things that they have not earned. Yeah. So when they burn us, we can't be mad. Nope. Because we've given them the access to burn us. So for me, trust is earned. So I have to go through some real shit with you yeah. to see if you're trustworthy. Yeah. And that's why when real shit happens to me, I don't get mad at all the people fuck doing the fuckeries to me. I watch everybody around me. Yeah. Yeah. I watch everybody. If someone's fucking with me, saying bad shit about me, doing bad shit, I don't, you see the person saying all that shit? I don't give a fuck about them. It's, I watch the people true. that are listening to it and feeding into it because that tells me more about my circle is fucking weak, bro. Mm. My circle is flipping weak. Look how mm. weak my circle is. My woman's weak. My circle's weak. Shit, man. I need to pattern up. It's true. I'm done out here. It's true. Have I got people around me that can believe anything that someone says out of nowhere and not even question it? Mm-hmm. You, you, I'm it's weak. weak like, yeah, it's a weak. So I'm saying for that young boy that went took her out and spent 500 pounds on her, she didn't earn nothing for that. If she went and fucked... Um, long dick Harry from down the road right. yeah, and she never talks to you again she just got 500 pound sliders you can't even get mad that oh she done that because you you gave someone access to you that they didn't they weren't in deserving of it's an L for you you know what I'm saying long. it's yeah. like meeting a girl having sex with her today and then saying she's my wifey tomorrow yeah, and then yeah, finding yeah. out she's fucking other guys right, right, you gotta right. take that L bro that's on you take your time that's MOT you. test do all of them you know mm. background checks CRBs all of that you know what I'm saying that's on you like learn yourself learn her don't just jump into things and that's why I, and that's why I would never get mad at a woman who, who like, a guy is sort of dumb enough to sort of give her that position from... No, like, from we're not talking about her because she's not the problem. I'm trying to say, yeah. She's not the problem. Yeah, I'm trying to say. She's not the problem. I, I can't say anything if, to her. If, 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 a, if a man want to be... If a girl want to be idiot for you, you're going you're gonna to treat her like an idiot. Of, like? of course, If you meet a girl at first date and she's like, you know what, I'm taking you out to buy, what do you want? And you're like, I want a PlayStation 5. And she's yeah, like, she she going to buy it. Bro, <laughs> go and right get now. the PlayStation yeah. 5, of brother. Of course. Of course. Go get that bag. Oh, of course. Oh. Why would you say no? Go get that bag. Why would you say no? Go get that bag. No, babe, I don't know you yet. Go and get that bag. Never. Go get it. And even if you didn't need the like, PS5, take it, uh, take it and then sell it. <laughs> Whatever. And then with that money you sell it, if you make more money, you run her back some dough and run some more dough and show yep. her that you're a boss. Yep. Boss levels. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Take that dough back, girl. And here's this, i got more money. I'm a hustler. Invest that money again. And the man might be like, oh, you know, like, a woman might say, oh, like, don't you man have a conscience? Nope. If someone's going to give me something just for being me, then that means I'm like, boy, like, I, must be, I must be a great person. Or they, or they just got money to burn. Maybe, like, you might meet a girl who's up and got, and got money like that and just like to spend it on, man. Cool, I don't mind, innit? But I love a woman <laughs> that's not stingy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It's the most attractive thing, not stingy women. I think stingy women, like, that want everything but don't give anything, mm. like, yeah, 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 yeah. Keep your broke self to yourself, man. Yeah. Like, I don't like it. I don't yeah, like, I, don't, I, I just, I'll be honest, I don't like stingy women. Like, it's a turn off for me. I'm not a stingy person, so I don't want to be around a stingy woman. Of course. It's like, I'm the most yeah. giving person in the world to the mm. people that I love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I give That's stuff real. to people off, off the basis of nothing. Off the basis of my heart's clean and I just do good. But I will never be a trick. Let's let's get this right. I'll never be a trick. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's the people that I love. Listen to the word. The people that I love. People that have earned a position in my yeah, life, yeah, they course. deserve it. No worries. Like, my woman, I'll buy anything. Oh, I want a 300 pound fridge. Here it is, babes. I ain't got 300 for you, but here's 250, get the other 50. <laughs> you know, like, I always do things to see what people say. You know me, I'm, I'm one of them guys, I do things to see how people react. 100%. Like, I got the 300. That's definitely who you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's 250 and see their reaction. If they're moving mad, then I know it's crazy. Does that make sense? So, like, man has to know what they're doing, bro. I'll you be real. To, I mean, obviously, I mean, I mean, uh, like, us two individually, like, speaking, like, for us, w- like, we know ourselves we would never do that situation, right? But you got to think, you know, like, some man who got money like that, yeah, will just, like, they'll think it's a boss move tricking on her. Like, so, like I said, like, let's say, like, let's say you got, like, 50K in the bank, right? And you're meeting a gal, and my guy dripped out in like Supreme and Mary, all these clothes, yeah. But like, yeah, come, babe, that's nothing. Even though he's got it, it's still a foolish move, yeah. Because now, she, because now, what? Not only is she gonna expect it all the time, she hasn't even opened her legs yet. So she's gonna think, hold on a minute, I got five hundred pound slides without fucking him. Then I ain't gonna run in the pump on my all. A girl, a girl might start moving mad, like, hold on a minute, I ain't even gonna fuck, bro. Then 
do, do you know, um, if you're a billionaire and a millionaire and you're doing things like that, then I don't, I don't see nothing wrong with that. But I'm just if saying, that, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, if you're a young boy and you got a nine to five and you've worked your whole month's wages, never in life, and you got twelve hundred pound, you spend five hundred pound out of it on a girl. <laughs> And then, thinking boss move in your head, thinking like, like, trust move. me, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been finessed many times, and I'm gonna say, every man has, every man I've been boopsed. A girl boopsed me before. Every man has that. I didn't know she was boopsing me. I mm-hmm. thought it was all love, and then I found out that, that she was, she was, yeah, she was boopsing me. She's boopsing me. I didn't realize, you know what I'm saying? I didn't realize it. Yeah, man. I thought I was being a good guy, but then you know, like when I stopped running her doll, her whole mood changed. Really? That's never happened to me, though. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had lots of money, and I was just, I was just spending dumb money. I didn't realize it. But then that's the problem when you when you're picking up shit, you, you got you gotta expect flies to fly around. Of course, but I mean, obviously, as a guy, you've got to take accountability to think. Not you shouldn't have done it, but I rubbed myself out. Yeah, you rubbed yourself. I, yeah, I rubbed yeah, myself. Yeah, I rubbed myself out, and mm. I only can look back now and say, you know what? I hope that that money makes her happy. You mm. know what I'm saying? But she, she was. Well, I died because money runs out. Because. <laughs> So the moment you spend the money, it's gone. No, nah, but there's another guy probably doing more. Oh, okay. She's that type of girl. You know who you are. Fam, imagine, imagine, Im- but imagine that situation. Imagine you give her money to a girl and she uses that same money to go and buy an outfit for the next nigga to fuck her. Hey, did I tell you about, <laughs> hey, what, did I tell you about the girl that done her nails, yeah? Uh, uh, and she broke up with a man the same week. See? She said, see? it'd be so nice if a man done my nails for her. My man was up. He said, yo, here's some money. I'm going to send you. How much? 70 pounds or something to get your nails, your, your feet and nails done. She linked him once and that was the last time he saw her. Shame. He bought a hotel for like 300 pounds, yeah. got her hair and nails done, bought her all this stuff, bought her food the whole weekend, took care of her. And then she just left. And then she just left a you few see? days later. You see? And, but, and, and, but a girl you're dating, like I said, but you can suss that out from early. And you know, the girl found him. The story even how you met the girl was funny. What do you mean? Like, he, he told me the backstory to how he met her. Like, the girl was basically, she kept unfollowing him and following him to try and get his attention. Fuck that. No, but he, he, he actually fell into the trap because when, when she done it, the first time he done it, the, the profile was blank, it was private. Next time she done it, Don had the, the Ross Clark um, best picture up, had all the best pictures. And guess what he said? None of the pictures had likes. So he got excited, like, bro, she's not even like a scatty one. Does it make sense? Right, 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 because right. Because right. not, there's not a lot of pictures there. Does that make sense? That's still mad, though. Because my guy's still... Yeah. Like I said, I think, I think every man been been the finesse. But like you said, bro, if you're going to start seeing a woman and you're dating her, you can suss out from early. If you start suggesting places to go and things to do, and you see how she responds to it, but like I said, you don't. But you know what I mean. A girl don't. A girl doesn't know your financial situation. But if you're gonna, if you're gonna buy a five hundred pound slice, she must have been a ten ten boy. She must have been so smoking that he just couldn't believe that. He just couldn't believe that he got her, and he probably thought, yeah, if I do this, I'm definitely gonna fuck. But that's long. Because if, you, if, you, if you're gonna drop five bills on sliders, and I'm, I'm gonna assume, bro, fucked. You might as well went to a brothel, bro. I'm sorry, man. My guy might as well went to a brothel. Because a girl is ten ten or however she looks, it doesn't mean her pussy's gonna be good. Cause they, like she could have, like she could have whack pussy, yeah. Man, like man, I'm out here just like I said. But maybe if yeah, maybe like maybe if you you got like ten million and money really come easy to you like that. If you don't mind, then yeah, maybe I think you can do it and maybe not worry about your bank balance. But I said my guys work at the nine to five and fucking and fucking, you know, a fucking uh, uh, fucking what. Tesco or Sainsbury's, the bad guy's got a basic job and he's got rent and mortgage and family and bills and my guy's slapping five five bills just for the sliders and he's got like 200 pound left at the end of the month. Bro, she ran you for the bag, bro. She finessed you and you ain't getting that money back. So boy, I think I think some guys just need to reevaluate their life and like fucking respect themselves as well, bro. Like fucking hell, hard earned money, man. Hard earned money. I think I think I think I think I think that's definitely got, like got to be a factor. And I know the moment that girl got, I know the moment that girl got the Balenciagas, but I know for a fact she was just thinking. I know for a fact she was thinking, bag this nigga. And that probably wasn't even the only thing. If she kept seeing him, I think what a guy doesn't realize is that she's gonna expect a bag every time she sees him. Now she dropped him five bills. 
He's, he's, he's dropped to five. Like, every time I see him, I'm thinking, you're going to think, oh, babe, do you know what? If I got five, you know what? Nah, she's going to finesse him even more. That's like, what I'm saying. But, she's only, but the funny thing is, she's only going to see him when she knows his bag's right. Yeah, that's so what I'm saying. Girls are smart. They'll say, all right, he bought me this on the third of this month. So I'm going to make sure that I delay all seeing him until the next month's the third. So I know he's up with Doe. And then I'm going to make him take me to Novikov. Now I'm going to make him take me to right. um, the Shard. Now I'm going to make him take me to the most expensive five-star hotel. Because why not? Now I'm going to run in the pussy. But I only run in the pussy because I'm horny. <laughs> right. Lol. So that's She's got even... you a lock. I mean, that, you know what? That's, that, that is literally... That's narcissistic, bro. No, I, like, I was going to say, that is like, that's literally the, the definition of prostitution. <laughs> no, that, that's like... See, like, I, wanted to, like, I wanted to say loose form prostitution, but that's like a full-on prostitution, uh, prostitutional agreement. Like, how, how, how? Because I think, I, think, I think dating a woman is like a loose form of prostitution anyway. In the sense of like, you're paying for something, to, you're paying for a woman's time and energy sort of to acquire sex, right? Because if sex wasn't a goal, I don't think, I don't think most men would spend a lot of money on women if there was no actual result at the end of seeing her. Facts. You, you wouldn't really do it, would you? You'd be like, hold on a minute. So, so you mean, I, for the next month I'm gonna see you, sex is definitely off the table, but you still want us to go out. They'll be like, a guy like, no, I'm good still. So there has to be something at the end of it. Facts. So I'm saying, but a prostitution f- thing, I'm saying, buy me this first, then I'll fuck you. It's a prostitution. 100%. Like, now, however you want to look at it, bro, buy me this and I'll fuck you. It's prostitution. 100%. So girls might not want to agree to the idea of them being holed out or tricked out, but... I guess it's. I guess it's not. It's, it's not. It's not. It's not really far off a gold digger, bro. A woman who specifically goes after rich men and will fuck them and do anything for them in exchange for gifts, money, and lifestyle and holidays. And I'm like, damn. Okay, cool. But the guy's getting finessed, but the woman has a set goal. She's like, right. I'm gonna get this from him. But, but she's kind of earning it because she, she's literally playing the position to get his money from him. She's thinking, right. I'm gonna wear wear the dress he likes go around his house, suck his dick the way he wants. I'm going to do everything he wants to ensure I get money from him. But if brother just dropping my bag on a girl from the gate and she had earned it, that is a, that's a massive L, bro. So what advice would you give to that young man? Never do it again. Respect your pockets, respect yourself, and don't fall for the crutches. Bam, I told you, a lot, a lot of good men have, have fallen to that like, woman's pussy, you know? A lot of good men have fallen, bro. Thanks. They've lost their way, man. But I, my advice to him would be that... Um, Never do it again. Just know that whatever you do for the first date, you have to kind of maintain that for all the rest of the day. Every dates. date now. So now it's like, do you have the financial backing and do you have the energy to maintain that? And if you don't, then always start low and build with somebody so you can see if they're worth your time right. and money. Because remember... You put out your lifetime for that money, regardless mm-hmm. whatever you've done. Mm-hmm. There was your, you, you gave your life, and your life is your time. Your time is your life. Mm-hmm. Now, you gave that to a stranger. Yeah? That's what she is to you. Because mm-hmm. you don't really know her. It's your first day. That's true. You don't know her from anywhere. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? She can, she can do this to four different guys and finesse all of them and get different products. So you see them girls and you see them with nice products. She, they're just doing it to different other guys. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. I'm saying, instead of letting her do that to you, be a guy that's got intellect mm-hmm. and say, you know what? I pick A, B, C, D, and the F. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I, I respect that. So, yeah, man. Yeah, no, you should like, you should have never run out of that. But I, said, but I said, now, every day it's got to be on that level now. And it hasn't got to be Blake's Hogger. Like, it could be Dior, Gucci, a nice restaurant, high-end, high, high, like, fast life, high-end. Now, it could, because, like, he set the tone. He's the, he, he said, listen, when you're with me, this is what it's going to be like. What he doesn't understand is that now she's going to look at every guy as, as a potential bag. So if the next brother really ain't got dough like that, don't buy a bag, she's thinking, like, I, like, I fuck it with broke niggas. So man put girl in that position. Man are doing that. You know what I mean? But if you make a girl earn that bag, so if I was seeing a girl for three months, then took her shard, she's earned that. Mm. I don't have any doubt in my mind that she deserved this treatment. Three months of, of that consistency, she fucks with me. Her, her mental, her body, her mind. I, I like her as a person. Yeah, it's deep. It's deep I, how many take her the shard? Yeah, of deep. course. It's deep, it's deep, it's deep, it's deep. But on, on the first date, he's putting himself in a position where now he has to maintain and, 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 and have an upkeep for a life that he can't afford. 
And it must have been a situation where a man saw her and just thought, I've got to, like, I've got to give her this, man. She's so bad. I, I, I just want to impress her. Because I said, we all know women, man, man fall to them kind of women, bruv. Man, like, man just want to impress them. And like, I get it, but you know what I mean? M money don't come easy for the average man, cuz. So, boy, if, if you got to work for your money, you best, you know what I mean? Cherish and value that money, man. Just think about all them hours you slaved at work and had to deal with bullshit and got up in the morning and, and had late nights and felt tired and you've just spunked that on a thing who doesn't even know you're probably... Like, doesn't even value you or know your name too tough, cuz. That's, 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 that's all mad to me, bro. Yeah, so, like, that that young guy, hopefully he learned. I don't know. He Hopefully he learned. And never do that again. Yeah, respect your money, respect your pockets, respect your time, respect your energy, bro. Because you can't give things to gal that don't come easy, brother. Facts. Never in life, man. Never, man. It hurts me hearing them stories. It hurts me. No, no, it don't hurt me because I've, I've, I've realised that the society that we're living in now, we, we've got to that point now. That's where we are, YC. We're in a, we're in a state mm. where men think that impressing women is by giving them... Gifts, yeah, gifts, money. Yeah, money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, that's never... You never impress a woman by that. You impress a woman by your smell. Yeah, number one, your smell, bro. Number one, what you're wearing, like, is in your clothes, mm, your image. Visually, innit? Yeah, a woman will look down at your feet straight away. 100. She's judging you. Automatically, she's judging you. you kicks, boy. Whether she wants to admit it or not, she's judging you. you kick game, boy. Yeah, and it's your personality. Can Character, you make her laugh? Yeah, yeah. Are you funny? Are you entertaining? Mm -hmm. Can you hold a conversation? Are you good mm -hmm. at listening? 100%, 100%. These are the things that women actually pay attention to. Your money is not really... Whether you're a broke man or a rich man, a woman will want a man that's affluent and doing good stuff with his mm -hmm. life, but... Once you have them certain things yep. all together, a woman's really just good looking for them it's things true. there. It's true. If you smell like shit, no woman ain't gonna wanna link you again, bro. Facts. My cologne game is just too tough. A guy will smell me and just want, just, huh? Wow. Off the smell alone, Oh, wow. Ooh, yeah. What? What's that? I think, especially when it gets older, like, like, smell, it's like smell, and, smell and hygiene. And but it's for the same for us, though. How nice does it feel when you smell a girl and she smells, and her perfume is, you're like, whoa, just ooh, bang damn, it. son. That's true. Whoa, what was that? No man, no man, no man wants no stink back again. Oh, she smells amazing. Mm, thinking like she's just fresh, huh? Yeah. I think yeah, I think it's a, it's a yeah, like like character and personality is definitely gonna keep her, especially once you get to a certain age. I think obviously like you know when you're young, dumb and whatever, twenty one, whatever, living life, mm. not thinking about. It. But as you get older, I think you definitely have basic demands like fucking hell, facts. Just because, but then it's funny I say that though, because as you like when you get older, older. Women who've been living such a high-end life and a privileged life and a life they haven't had, like, had to work for, when they get to a certain age, they realise, if a man just got a dick and a job, I'm, like, that's enough. If you got a dick and a job, then like, for, the, like, for most women, that will always cut, like, cut, cut the, um, like, make the requirement. For real, like, most women don't really require much, but man, like we'll do too much for girls that don't that don't deserve it, fam. And then the next, the next thing you know, they're in the madness. And it's like, no, nah, well, but the, the problem the problem is that we are actually giving um, these women the privilege to do these things against us. Like, if if we're being honest, yeah. we can't really blame the women if we're That's giving our hard on money. That's like, what I'm saying. It is a factor that we are actually the problem. But 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 it, cr it creates an unpopular trend that every man's got that kind of money to be running for a girl. So then, uh, like, nah, 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 nah. Now a girl's been like, well, well if you ain't got, so if you can't buy me blank side of sliders, then you ain't, yeah, then you ain't, then you ain't, you are not a, 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 a possible candidate. You are not a, a prospect of a guy that she can see herself with now. Cause your money's not up like that. So that last guy, when they bought the sliders, if you can't do that, that's fucked the whole movement up of finance. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fucked it now. Cause every man's got to be up, and then the man's thinking, I don't give a fuck. Who the fuck are you? I, I ain't buying no sliders. You black like, boy, I can't fuck it then. Mm. Now you might not care, but I'm saying that's 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 like a very bad mindset to walk around with, thinking everyone should just buy me things. Mm. Especially if you don't. Yeah, you said you haven't earned it. You don't know from nowhere. Yeah, you haven't fucked her yet, and now you're thinking, raw, this guy's a bad. Cause I would definitely rinse rinse a girl who's doing that for me. If a girl buy me a PS5 and Jordans, I'm rinsing her. Because I haven't even asked. She's just doing it on, 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 like, on the strength of I look good to her. Nah, you know what? I just. I'd rinse a girl like that. Nah, Sorry, cuz. You know what is? Unless she's my woman and we've been together for years, I just. I don't even like taking gifts from people, man. I'm one of them guys. I just. I hate taking stuff from people, especially women, because sometimes women will feel like I'm obligated to do stuff for them. Like, because they've got me this or got me that. And they'll use that same thing against me. Like, I bought you this one time, so now you got to do this for me. Oh, and, but fuck that. Yeah, you have to be loyal to me forever because I bought out. you 
I don't know, a PlayStation 5. I bought you the newest FIFA, like, and it was £60. Listen, it, and I'm like, yeah, and you no. love it so much. Like, so remember that time I bought you FIFA? I don't, you know what, yeah? Mm. Like, I don't um, feel nothing, though. I'm an Android, because I'd run them. I'd run them straight. Just don't care about it, man. Because uh, it, 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 it's, it's I, I mean, so I, know, I know some people have morals and standards, but me, me like, maybe, like, maybe I'm just a fucked up kind of nigga, but if I'm speaking to a girl and she sees me, she likes me, and we're gonna go out. Okay, let, okay. Let's just say she offers to pay for dinner, and it comes to like eighty pound. I don't feel nothing if a girl's doing that to me. I don't feel shit, especially if I was willing to pay or was going to pay. She was no, nah, I got this bill. Because a woman can never make me feel like I'm gonna be guilty about what she's done. And oh, I took you out because I'm just thinking you wanted to. You wasn't forced. I didn't. I didn't push you in that direction. I didn't. I wasn't expecting you to pay. I had my own money. But you went out of your way to pay for me. So if a woman's gonna try and do that as like a trap to say, I've done all these things for you, so surely now you must get with me. That's an L on her part. Because because you can't expect anything from anyone, especially if you're gonna base it off money. Like money, like love is a base off money, like, you know what I mean? It's like time and character and personality, right? So I'm just saying, like, if someone's if someone, if someone gonna set, set the tone off, I'm gonna buy you everything, most people are gonna let that run. Most people. It's true. And, it's I, and true. I just don't, I personally, and, and, and you got to look at it on, on like a deeper note, bro. Men don't, men, men don't get spoiled like that, you know? Men don't really get taken out too tough, cuz. Men don't really get taken out and spoiled and ha, like have a girl plan your birthday and say, don't worry, babe, I planned everything. Men don't really get that, you know? Mm. So, I think some men get generally surprised. Raw, like, 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 like this, you know, this woman cooked me out. She, like, planned the day out, you know, she, she, she made sure the venue was like this. She cooked, she, like, she cooked my favourite food. Like, some man can't believe it. Like, really? Because man are so used to doing that for women. When they come back to them, they're thinking, rah, like, that's mad. It mm. kind of feels nice, too. What about a woman? Um, there's, there's a thing Giggs was saying this week about women that speak like men. So women that, like, be saying brav and be using a lot of um, vulgar terms when they're speaking, like, effing this, effing that, mm. shit, that, shit, this. Like, he was saying, like, that's a straight turn off for him. Yeah, of course it is. Like, of course. What would you would you like a woman that uses uh, vulgar language and like, and calling you bruv? Never. I mean, if she was using it to her friends, I don't care. But to me directly, I still want a woman speaking as a woman. I still want uh, a certain a, a certain language being spoke to me. So a, a certain yeah, yeah, just language or etiquette or how she's sort of uh, articulating herself. But if she's like, get the fuck out of my yard, brother, after the argument, then then it's done for me. Mm. I, 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 That's I, done. I'll be honest, I can't... I don't like women that swear too much. I, just, I find it, like... I feel you. I, I feel I feel like it's a low vibrational mm. thing. Like, I don't know, I just... I can't rate a woman. I can't take her serious. Because mm-hmm. there's so many other words that a woman can use of in, of endearment towards a man and to make him feel in, in, empowered and, in, um, right. and uplifted. Right. So I feel like when a woman's um, not on that, it's like... it's. It's problematic for me, mm. if I'm being honest with Profanity you. Profanity and vulgar, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't like um, vulgar women. Ah, I finish, I finish. I'm like, oh, man. I don't, I don't, I just, it's a turn-off, isn't it? Yeah, mm. you, this, you, I don't know. I just, for me, it just doesn't work. Like, I literally find it, like, the worst of speeches mm. when it comes to me. Mm. If I'm being, like, totally... I mean, honest, it's, de- it's definitely not attractive. And I think a man might find it kind of cute or funny at the start. But after about a couple of weeks... And he realizes that that's really how she talks. He's like, no, allow it. It's just dead. No, no, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Fuck you, and you, and then, and then, and then imagine, imagine what. I don't, want, I don't, want, I don't want to like that in general. So for her to even be like that, it's just crazy. Because I'm gonna be like, this woman doesn't even know how to control her tongue. Because I'm gonna mm. want to take her places, and she's not gonna be able to control herself. Right. And that's gonna be even a worse thing for me. Mm. I like a woman that knows how to speak. It's like it's a very sexy thing when a woman knows like. Like the level of tone, and all of that. Sure. I feel like that's a sexy thing. I that's feel like sure. that's sexy. I feel that's very feminine. I like that. Mm. I like that soft, nice yeah. words. Yeah. Like I love that stuff. Mm. Man. I like. I love that. Stuff. I mean, yeah. Like I don't think a woman. Like I don't think if like if, if a woman met up me and goes and was like, "What's good, bro?" I'd be like, "Who's like who's the girl talking to?" <laughs> Immediately, I'd be like, "What'd she say?" No, but imagine you out and she's like that effing deard. Like. Yeah, no, it's true. Uh-huh. It's, it's, it's like it's a bit of yeah, yeah. Talk like the it's a bit wild, yeah, the man yeah. It's a bit wild. It's a bit aggressive. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not with it. Still, I'll be honest with you. That's like one of the biggest turnoffs that I find in women. Mm. And um, yeah, like change your vocabulary when you're speaking yeah. to men, man. Some men like women that are talking properly. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, even if I talk rolled, I don't want a girl that talks like me. No. 
the hell? I don't want to date myself. Yeah, real. You know how stupid that sounds real. like? I'm with a woman that speaks like me. Like, I'm not saying, I, I love a woman that understands me, mm -hmm. but doesn't have to speak like me. Speak mm -hmm. as a woman would mm -hmm. speak. Mm -hmm. Like, very, mm -hmm. you know, nicely and all that. I, I love that stuff, man. I want a woman that's speaking like me, bro. That's, that's weird, yeah, bro. No, she, she can't, like, she can't sound like she's one of the man them. Never. That's, that's a bit bad still. Nah, 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 nah. Like, yeah, a decent, yeah, just, well, yeah, like, you don't want a girl sound like she's on road or been on road or used to be on road or got girls that are road or, like, says bro or hanging about a man them. That's all a red flag, 100%. Like, Giggs is, like, 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 he's on the money with that one. Like, I want a woman to speak just how I speak to my sister or my mum or my auntie, whatever, just, just, just naturally. And then if she, you know what I mean, it's maybe, it's maybe you could overlook it if she swore when she was angry or something. But not a regular, just a natural, oh, fucking dickhead and fuck her, man. She's a prick. Get me, bro. I'll be like, no, no, no. I'm dating a man, them. This is, no, no, that's, that's. No, I'm not with it. Not with it at all. I'm not with it. No, that's a turn off, man. That's, no. a, that's a big turn off, man. That's a big turn but, off. And I think, and I think it, it, it's, it's not really surprising to, 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 uh, for a guy to say, I'm not on a woman who speaks like a man. It's like. Yeah, but. Like, why would you? Why, why, like, and it's the same thing, like, you wouldn't want a girl who dresses like a man, them either. Like, very, like, um, like, tomboyish. That's not. I mean, think you say her own, but I wouldn't want a girl dressed in tomboyish. I couldn't do it, fam. Mm. Like, 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 speech road and wears tracksuits and hoodies. Listen, listen, listen. Yeah, it's a little bit, it's a little bit. It's wild. a little bit mad. I think that's a young girl. Though. I don't think big women are um, like that. Big women want to dress like big women. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Uh, that's what I generally feel. I feel like a young girl. She's gonna do all of that because she's young, innit? Like, obviously, yeah. she's she's young, she's naive and all that. But a big woman, she's not on that, man. A big woman wants to. She wants to talk like a woman. She wants people to see her as a woman. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But a young woman. But you know, you got a lot of older women that still have a little girl mindset. That's what I'm gonna say. Like they, they come on my platform all the time, and you could tell that they're probably in their mid thirties. But the Big way women. they speak, they Big still women. haven't understood men. And I believe if you're at that age now and you don't understand men, you're gonna be single for the rest of your you're life. Done that, yeah, I'm just being real with you. Yeah. If you're at the age of mid thirty fives and you still don't know how to address and talk to you're a man, you're done that. Yeah. You're not gonna get. You're not gonna get far. You know what I'm saying? That, that's, that's my honest. That's my honest opinion. I, I don't have nothing else to say regarding that. Like you do not have any choice. Like there's nothing. You're not gonna win. You're going yeah. to fail constantly. And, and, and a, a lot, a, a lot of these women are stuck in their ways, or they believe that how they are is acceptable. Acceptable, and it's normal. And and, and you have to accept it. This is what the bad thing is. Women will say now this this argument of you have to accept the way I am. So, like says who? Why do I have to accept that? Why do I have to accept bad behavior? I just cut you off. And then I'm not gonna lie, the women who generally say you gotta accept me, or the women who say this is how I am, accept me for me, are normally black women, bro. I'm telling you, man, it's normally them. 100%. It's normally black women, bro. The women who don't want to change and say this is how I am, or you know, a black man should love us for who we are, and if you have to deal with it and fix us, who the fuck am I fixing? Fix, help. You're a big woman. If you haven't established that with yourself, then listen. Me and you are not gonna. Me and you are not gonna work. And, I, and what I think makes it worse is a woman who knows that she's toxic or she knows that she's not mentally equipped to deal with a relationship, but is refusing to change, and expecting the man to accept her for who she is without her realizing her flaws and trying to better herself. A man's just supposed to come in and say, I'm going to love you for Lou, like, love you for you, but so, so she can remain toxic, she can remain um, loud and aggressive and rude, and a man's just supposed to take it. As opposed to her saying, I need to change my ways, I need to level up. No man is going to come into that, fam. But, still, a lot, a lot, but a, lot, a lot of these older women are stubborn and they're ignorant, and they really are going to die alone, fam. And when, when that really hits, when it's too late, we'll be like, I told you. You have to change up your ways, man. You got you have to be you have to be a woman. Yeah? You have to you have to do woman things around a man to want him to stay. Long gone are the days where a woman can open a leg and a man's gonna marry her. Long are the days. They're gone. Gone are the days. Marriage is on the decline. Relationships are, are on the decline. Women are on the decline. You know, like the Western mindset, being sexually liberated, equality, feminism, all of these things are fucking women over and they're not realizing that. A lot of these women are gonna end up alone, bro. Yeah, and miserable and unhappy. But when that, when that, when that rally hits, they're gonna come running back for man. But by the time they do that, 
the, the, the marketplace is going to be so saturated and fucked. The only man left are going to be just benefit man or man who got five youths or man who's like looking for a green card. Certain kinds. Like the quality of men are going to completely disappear. 100%. Eventually. Very soon. There's no more, bro. It's going gonna, it's gonna to just disappear. Yeah? So any woman out there, I would suggest, if you're looking for a man, be on a hunt now. If you're 30 plus and single, you need to seriously start looking for your next man. You need to seriously put your head down and think, I need to change because this is not working for me. Don't listen to your friends. Don't listen to your mum. Don't listen to your work colleagues, your family, your cousins, whoever. Just think to yourself, if I want a man, I might have to change. I might have to adapt. I might have to adjust certain things to get a man. If you follow social media, you're fucked, yeah? If you follow on the trend, you're fucked, yeah? Do what you need to do to get a man, and if you have to sort of concede power or position, or you have to concede authority, do it. If it's for the sake of your happiness, bro. But too many women out there are listening to other influencers or, or like they're listening to toxic people who are also single and they're giving them bad advice, or they listen to other women who are saying we don't need no man, or like they listen to women who, like, who are saying you can do it by yourself, sis, and you're better off single. These women are all broken and bitter, yeah? And, and, they're, and they're projecting it on other women, and they're gonna make them even more fucked. So I would say, yeah, man, just get up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust me, man. T life is very short, man. And tomorrow's not promised to no one. So if we all chat, there's all the women out there who don't wanna be alone, the time to act is now. Facts. The time to act is now. And, and, and be careful. And be mm. careful that you don't think, oh, I've been single for so many years, I can do this all by myself. Mm. Nobody wants to die alone. No man. one. Not I don't want to die person. alone. I don't want to die alone. I want by my bedside. Yeah, I, I, I want my wife to be there. I want my kids, kids to yeah, be yeah, there. Yeah. I want my family to be there. Mm -hmm. I don't want to die alone, bro. Mm -hmm. Flip. Yeah. Who wants to live like that? Did like, did like get old and just be bitter and hating men and, and, and hating life. But I think some women who, who, who I think some women who have but been Even like with, people say, I'm living for my kids, yeah. But when your kids leave the house, like what? as we all have, then, what? then, then who are you living for? <laughs> yeah. The kids don't check for you for all two, three weeks. Who's in the yard with you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, man. People, your kids are only young for so, some time. You know, when they grow older, they leave the, they leave the nest and they don't come back. Mm. They're living with their babe mother. Babe mother's got a council house all the way in tweaking them and you're all living in, in Kilburn. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Can't go down and see them every day. So mm -hmm. who, who you got now? You, your friends, all your friends are married. The same ones telling you that men ain't this, men ain't that, they're all married. Because they were saying it's that true. to the woman, but they didn't believe in it themselves. Because that's true. what a lot of women do. They say things that they don't actually believe it's in true. just to be, just to be pick me's. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's the, that's the, the that's last the, topic today. Women being pick mm. And I've seen this too much on social media. Women will agree with other women, even though they don't agree with them, but only to save face yeah. and not cause an argument. That's, that's sad, called though, a pick-me. That's sad, though, isn't it? That's a pick-me. Not when they agree with a man, because ma majority of times, men, especially us, we say the unpopular opinions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We don't say popular opinions on there. No. We don't say the popular opinions that everyone should agree with. Nope. So if a woman's agreeing with us, that means that she has sense and she goes against it's the true. grain. It's true. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't true. we say unpopular opinions. Mm -hmm. If a woman is disagreeing with us, then no problem. It's, it's fine. Mm. But what I'm trying to say is there's some women that will agree with other women only because they're women, yeah. but don't actually agree with what they mean. That's real. And it's just the fakeness. That's real. And that shows me in itself that a lot of women out there, they don't actually care for their friends. They'll just agree with them, but just to save face and not cause an argument. That's true. But that's where the problem actually lies because they're not telling them the truth. And then when guys like us start speaking the truth on the internet, we're looked at as villains. I want to be the villain. Good. Call me the bad guy, yes. Fact, we don't mind. I'm ready for that. We don't mind. You know what I'm saying? We don't mind. Say goodnight to the bad guy. I don't care. But mm. that's, that's, that's actually a problem. Pick me. What do you think of women that just agree with other yeah, women but all the man, time? I, but I think, I, think, I think you said something similar before where whoever's telling the message, if a man's right, he's right. We, like, we don't have to like the man. Yeah. If he's right, he's right. If he's right, he's right. Bro. Man's chatting sense. Like, I don't like his music. or like, I don't even like the clothes he wears. But that point he made about... That, I rock, correct. I rock with him. That's it. He's right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, fuck it, being another man. Or, but I'm saying women can listen to a woman say a madness. And still agree with know, her. Know, know she's wrong and be like, oh, but I kind of see what she's saying. But deep down, she knows that it didn't make any sense. But just, but, but, like, just, but just to be a collective group of women like who are supporting other women. Because like, women naturally, yeah, feel the need to be like, 
women feel the need to be like in, like in groups and be like very like have, accepted, like, have, have the accept, validation and have, and have loud voices and be really validated, yeah? So it's like, oh, so a woman might say, all men ain't shit. A woman might say, yeah, they ain't. She might be married. <laughs> <laughs> she might be married and she'll jump in on that wave just to make her feel empowered. That's how crazy women are. And some women are, are, are reluctant to comment on things because they don't, they, they're sort of like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let, I'm gonna let sis talk. But at the same time, I don't really agree with what you're saying, but I'm going to just try and be neutral to this shit because if I start talking and be, I'm sort of belittle her message, she might feel bad. And because we all know women don't like to upset people. But at the same time, I don't generally believe that. So I think women try to play the nice guy too much. Or like, when I say that, I mean, women try to sort of make everyone happy. Fuck that. If you're wrong, you're wrong. Straight. And if you're right, you're right. But women care too much about how people, how people are going to feel about what, what they've said to say anything. Men don't have that problem. We, we say a lot of controversial things and we say a lot of passionate, heartfelt things. I don't give a fuck how it's going to hit the waves. Because if, it, if it's our truth or the truth, the message will get pushed. If we, but if we stopped for a second and thought, we might hurt some people's feelings, then we'd be we'd some never pussies. do it. We'd never do who, it. Who would we be? But then that, that means we'll yes. turn into pick means then. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then we'll turn feminine. Yeah. Because that's a feminine characteristic. A feminine characteristic yeah, is the avoidance of arguments. Yes. But, an, but the worst low value characteristic that I've ever seen is the needing to be right. So some women, you got you got two spectrums, yeah? You've got two spectrums, the end of the spectrums. You've got the woman that agrees with everything that woman says because she just want, she doesn't want any trouble, mm -hmm. even though she don't believe it. Mm -hmm. Then you have the other spectrum of when a woman wants to be right in an argument. Any woman out there that wants to be right all the time, let me just tell you something. You're single already. Facts. You're already single. Facts. Because men, especially high-valued men, are not even looking at you. Like, all you want to do is argue. That's you, true. What do you bring of substance? All you want to do is be right. You want to be right so bad, mm. you will insult, you will shame, you will guilt trip, just to be right. That's true. And you see it on this platform that I have right now. Mm. A girl will say, because I never agreed with her on her bad behavior, she'll say, you're gay, you're in the closet, yes. you must hate women. Yes. Do you know how yeah. wild that sounds to me, just as a person? I, that thought has never come to my head, but she's trying to shame me and trying to guilt trip me so How bad. Or they'll say, it? your mom's black. What does that got to do with the whole, <laughs> the whole, the whole discussion? Right, 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 right. And this happens too, too often. A lot of men are falling All the fraud buzzwords. This is the new one, buzzwords. You know the woman's buzzwords. You're a narcissist. Yep. You're a manipulator. Associate. You're gaslighting. It's that they don't even know what they're saying. It's they're true. just saying it because they heard that. other people yeah, say it. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. That is a true pick me, bro. Mm -hmm. You're just saying stuff because someone else said it. Someone in the chat says, you're a narcissist. So she's like, yeah, you're a narcissist. So what does that mean? No one. Bro, my last pa the last post on my page. Ask the girl, what's a narcissist? Are you triggered? Are you triggered? Are you triggered? I'm not, are you all right? It's a, it's a quick, like, what, what is a narcissist? Because everyone's throwing out words, or everyone's misusing words, or sort of, or, or re- or sort of a, like reposting, retweeting, like sort of reiterating re something that they don't even know. They're just saying it. Now, 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 now you've got me on the thing where I, I'm, I'm just not going to speak to you because I just don't think that you're worth of any value. Not you're not. And like women want to argue with me on the internet. Like, who are you? Mm. Who are you for me to even put in effort to argue? Uh, unless they're making some serious valid points or like challenging ideology that have a have a sort of solid reason behind it, as opposed to. If you say to a girl, is what I'm saying wrong? If it's not, then don't worry about how I'm delivering it or me seeming ignorant or me shouting, wherever it is. Am I right, though? Women are so concerned about the delivery that right, they the actually message. forget the message. Yeah, it's true. And that's the problem. The message is going over their head and up in the air. That's why our whole show's called Up in the Air. Because most things that we say is going to go over your head and up in the air. They're not gonna, we said that from the, from the first episode, yeah, 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 yeah. we said the majority of things that we're going to say on this show is going to go over your head and up in the air. Yep. A woman told me this. She said, I've been listening to you from the beginning. And she says, I'm in a good relationship and the man loves me like, like butter. And he says, I don't know where you get all these amazing characteristics. She says, I don't tell him, but I actually just listen to you, man. Mm. And I learn all the bad things of not what to mm. do. And I do all the good things. Mm -hmm. And now this man's addicted to me. He can't leave me alone. 
So, 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 so if anything, we're like we're like we're we're benefiting and helping people, and that's and that's and that's what it is at the end of the day, man. Like just you know, because like I said, like because if the idea of pick me, if that's real for man them as well, then it would mean that every time I'm, I'm not gonna lie, every time I see a video where a man's saying. Oh men, if you want to keep their like, want to keep your woman. Oh men who do this, or oh, like men, men act this certain way. Honestly, I swear to God, I feel physically sick when I see man saying things like making a video about saying things how men could do better with women. I just think, why are you like? From my whole body just starts to get hot. Like when I see man speaking like a gal about man. Trust me. I, f- I swear, I, f- I feel sick, bro. Trust me. I actually feel sick. Trust me. I think this guy made like made a video of like, man, them, stop doing this. No, but they do it because they know that the women <laughs> yeah. are going to yeah. eat into it. Mm-hmm. If we started to do that now, bro, I swear we should, should do A million followers tomorrow, a million should, followers. We should, we should do a social experiment. And yeah. see a million works. followers tomorrow. Like, honestly, if, if we change the whole... If we flip this show, it, like if we were two black men, yeah, who all we did was say women can't be wrong and like let's love them, we'd be on TV, ch- like BBC One, ITV, two, 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 like, social experiment. We'd have our own show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> say less, say less, say less. Wait, wait till the cameras go off. We got plans, but yeah, but we, it, it is what it is. Would. It is what it is, and this is the problem that we have too much men that are um, hyper emotional to want to agree with women just for the fact of be- that's even a pick me on the man's side. I call him a pick me, mm-hmm. like he just wants the women to pick him. He wants to feel accepted yeah, by women. Yeah. But you know what? I'll be honest. Some of the advices that we do give here are not for any man, you know, because it's true. you'll be lonely if you take some of our advices and you're not a real man. Mm-hmm. But that loneliness that you're going to feel is better than being violated. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I generally believe mm-hmm, it. Because mm-hmm. I wish some OG sat down with me and told me the stuff that I'm saying Trust today. me. I wish that they dropped me some games so that even if I didn't take everything they said, I took 10%. I'll be a better man to just know how to deal with my woman. That makes sense? Like, you took no one educated, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I man grew up. Alone. Yeah, man had to figure yeah, it out yeah, and then yeah. make lots of mistakes and then learn, mm. oh, that doesn't work, but this does work. Okay, mm. so let me do this, this, that, and the other. Then listen to some real OGs that came out. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Kevin Samuels. You know what I'm saying? RIP, Always, man. you know what I'm saying? Condolences and all of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, man, but. I sad to think, though. But I said, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Hey. <laughs> I, I didn't realize it until, until the other day. Like, as in, like, there's some guy. I swear, cause, like, like, when I see him, I just, like, I just feel like I just need, like, like, and I just want to punch Donny's face, man. When I just, cause, like, what do it's like the idea of a man, yeah. The idea of a man who are who is constantly speaking for women is mad to me. How many women do you see speaking for men? Like none. None. Going hard for men who's a woman, none. Or like, you might, you might, you might be one out of a hundred. But it's like, these men who, these men who say things knowing women are gonna eat it up. Them men are, them men are the truth finessers. Them men are the truth finessers. Not us. Men who say things to get gal on board are the truth finessers. We, we are, we, we are where we're hard today for speaking that real, yeah? Whatever numbers you get now, Whatever, whatever views we get now, times up by 10 if we start pushing out women are never wrong. They're beautiful. We should put them on pedestals. They're amazing. You know? They don't, they, like, like, they shouldn't cook for them. We'd be fucking social stars in a week. 100%. But then what would that say about your character? Like, what do you stand for then? Nothing. You don't stand for shit, bruv. If you're gonna get given to a woman and say, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, then why even exist, bro? That's called a simp. We don't do simping over here, bro. We do facts and we do alpha shit. Ain't no fucking simping talk, bro. You know what I mean? Like, go, like, go to another channel if you want simping and that. But this channel is alpha shit. This channel is man them need, like, need to get on their fucking, like, on their grind shit. Man them need to step up shit. Man them, to, man, man them need to elevate shit. Not this, oh, I love a woman. And, you know, be, be a simp, be a yes man, you know. To tell her she's the queen and never does any wrong. Fuck that. There's, there's, there's a hundred of them channels, but there ain't none of these channels. Yeah? And you know what's bad? Yeah? That, what, 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 what? Do you know what I thought about me the other day that made me laugh to myself, yeah? What? That we're popular from being unpopular. How, though? <laughs> but I think there was always an, 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 a, a thing in the market for people like us that speak truth. Because there's a majority of men don't want to speak up to the things that we say. But they, a lot of men want to say what we want to say. That's what I'm saying. But they're scared. No, that's what I'm saying. So, so, so I'm saying, so we're popular through unpopular opinions. 
Imagine it's a medieval. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. So, so we're actually so because that's our niche and that's our sort of market hold. Yeah, these two guys are actually so popular from what they do because no one else is doing it. So an unpopular opinion is is making someone popular because no one else is saying it, or no one else wants to say it, or no one else has the balls to say it, or, or people are scared of saying it. Hundred percent. So if someone if someone's scared to speak on something, but you're not, you're gonna get your your popularity in that in that sort of market space. Like you own that space because mm. that's what I do. Mm. So everyone who fucks with me, I've got my own hold on on the game because that's what I do. Mm. The moment you switch over and say, "Oh, we love women," now there's just a market of just women lovers, and no like there's no counters, like there's no mm. like no one going against it. There's no one saying fuck that. That's wrong. I'm mm. really driving that message home. Mm. Anyone can make a video saying, oh, I don't agree with that woman. Make 10, make 10, make 30, make 40, make 50. Because us two niggas are the kind of guys that keep women in check and let them know certain shit can't run. And at the same time, we empower other men to let them know where they're going wrong and how they can level up. Mm. You take that away, the game truly fucked. Because we're like the big bros who we never had to the last game. Mm. Man, never have to go through life and take else to figure this shit out. But now we're here giving out a free game. You might should be lucky. Cause a lot, a lot of shit we say, man don't know. Cause a lot of things we say, we think are common and it's obvious, but it's only because man have been through it. Yeah, and, and we, well, from what I've seen, our empowering of men has become super solid to the, the point movement. where men that are going through traumas, men that are going through mental health, we're actually helping them. We're changing lives, bro. And, um, you know, you only really notice that when you go to your DMs sometimes and you hear, mm. like, look, bro, I read my DMs to you now, bro. I have to just, sometimes I got to read my DMs because sometimes it's, it's so unbelievable. It's like they don't believe us. Yeah, yeah, it's like, it's like, look, a man just said to me recently, he said to me, um, it's like man don't believe I us. tune in every day, bro. I fully like what you're doing. Mm. Yeah, um, this guy's like, uh, let me just, I'm just trying to find something just random. Cause my DM's so jumpy. It's mad. Jump out. Mm. Bro, you think this guy's story is mad? Listen to this one. Like, man's telling me stories. About? Unloading. Uh, about what, though? Oof. Stories? Yeah, story of the week, man. Oh, bloody hell. Bro, you think this guy's story is mad? Go on. Listen um, to this one. So 18 months ago, I had one night thing with some girl and I hardly knew she was just a beat. Couple of my guys already been through her. So I thought nothing of it. Two twos now, I go about my business and five months ago, I get a random phone call off my hoya asking me, do I not know about a baby? I'm like, what? No, what are you on about? And she goes, well, you need to do a DNA test because this girl you slept with has slept with three other guys and claims that the kid is yours. Mm. So I was just, a, so, I was just so baffed, you get me? So I did a DNA test, bearing in mind I didn't want the child, nor have a say or a chance about this, and the child come back mine, bro. Now my daughter is nearly one years old and I can't see her or give her my love, mm. my time, my attention, nothing, because my pay mom stopped me and stopped all contact. I don't even know how my child is. I've seen her four times and she's almost one years old. You have any advice for me, bro? That's mad. <laughs> So that like, she didn't want him to be the dad is what you're saying. I don't, I don't know. Bro. If there were three other men, she, like she didn't want him to be the dad, or she just thought. See, but all, 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 like, all them situations are self-inflicted, bro. Not from him, like on like on her part. She, she was like she was moving messy, and got a messy situation, and now and, and now he's paying, he's paying for it by not being able to see his daughter, bro. And we and we all know about the whole women stop, women who stop men from seeing their kids just. That's something that we push so hard. So yeah, that's the story of the week, man. Shout out to all the men going through that. It's real. Um, we're here for you. We got a men's support group. Um, I'm gonna put a link in the bio. The link's always so, in the bio, so, man. Yeah, so that you, you can um, join if you want and all the rest of it. But yeah, check us out, YouTube. Subscribe right now. Download. Bow, bow. <laughs>